Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Say It Now, Say It Loud, where I give my feedback and commentary on the latest news in entertainment from a positive point of view. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can get those notifications. And let's get it cracking. All right, guys. So today we are doing something a little different. Today we are raising awareness for the sex trafficking that is going on. This topic is very hot right now, trending. And I definitely believe this video could help someone out there who may be experiencing this or know someone who is experiencing this also it's not just for women it's for men as well i think a lot of people fail to realize that men do experience some of the same issues that women do it may not be as high in the numbers as women but men do experience sexual assault uh, kidnapping and also uh, sex trafficking so here it says if you are in immediate danger call 911 if you or someone you know needs help call the national human trafficking hotline so this hotline is open 24 hours a day seven days a week the number is 1-888-373-7888 so you get to speak with someone who is uh professionally trained um and I'm pretty sure they'll be able to help you. A lot of times people overlook these hotlines and, you know, they see it online or they see it being advertised and they're like, okay, yeah, whatever. But it is a great way, for, especially if you feel like you need to do things in a discreet way, especially if you see or know someone who is in danger and, you know, you want to remain anonymous or you don't want them to know that you're reporting the situation because you feel like they may rebel. So yes, this hotline and as well as some other numbers that I'm going to provide towards the end of this video would be very helpful. So getting into it, let's get into this video from Alexis Sky, who was a part of the Love & Hip Hop franchise. She made a video, posted it on Instagram just to raise a little awareness and give kind of, you know, a little bit um, info or background about her experience with sex trafficking. Hey guys, it's Alexis. Um, I really just wanted to make this video today because I just got home. I've been traveling for the past three weeks and I live in Atlanta, for those that do not know, and I heard a lot of crazy things going on. People are getting killed, people are getting kidnapped, there's a lot of human trafficking going on. And it's been really sitting on my heart all night to really make this video and really let you guys know that it is not okay to be by yourself. I'm a victim of human trafficking, if you do not know, now you know. And I really feel like, ladies, if you're not with your friends, if you're not with your family, do not go anywhere by yourself, especially in Atlanta, all over the world, Cali, but it's really, really heavy in Atlanta. And I really just feel like you guys need to watch your surroundings and have mace on you, have a taser on you, if you have to have a gun, just do whatever you need to do to protect yourself because it is really serious, it's the scariest feeling in the world. And um, yeah, so I just really wanted to make this video because I don't think it's okay. All right, so that was Alexis Sky. So she's definitely a brave woman. Kudos to her for raising awareness. Also, we have Kiki Palmer who joined the conversation, just basically telling us, you know, there's a lot of been being said right now about human sex trafficking. Um, it's always been a major issue. And, you know, she's just talking about how we need to be aware, not just of men, but also women as well and i've seen a lot of stories where women are involved and the reason why they're using women to um lure other people in is because you know women come off as being softer or you know a person sees a woman and they don't automatically think you know this person is going to try to take advantage of me but be very careful i've seen it i've heard the stories and Definitely, it's not just men, it's also women. So be very careful. So we're going to go over a few different tips and things to remain aware and remain safe. All right, so number one says, be vigilant of your surroundings. So always be vigilant and aware of your surroundings. People are often distracted by their phones or other little things when walking. Make sure that you're aware of what's going on around you so that you can spot when something is off. 
If you notice a person or a car following you, alert someone you trust immediately. And this is very true. Too often, even with uh, children walking home from school, teenagers, even adults, like many people, especially down here in South Florida, there's this new train. Um, it's a fast train. I'm going to go off topic a little bit, but it's going to make sense. There's this fast train called the Bright Line. And a lot of people have been hit by that train ever since the train started operating. And a lot of them were known to have headphones in their ears. So when people are walking, you have headphones in your ears. You, you definitely couldn't be paying attention because you're listening and paying attention to whatever it is that you're listening to. And as I see even some teenagers walking home from school, they'll have the headphones in and they'll be watching uh, the phone. I don't know if they're watching YouTube or a movie or whatever it is or social media, but they're not paying attention. So be very careful. All it takes is a few seconds. And to be honest, um, you know, especially if you have children, a, an adult is always going to be stronger than that child. There may be ways for them to um, get free or free themselves from that person. But nine times out of ten the adult is going to be stronger so yeah just remind your children to be aware of their surroundings also guys if you're an adult you should be aware of your surroundings as well all right so number two says avoid walking alone women have been forcibly kidnapped while walking on the street you shouldn't have to be restricted when you go out and it may seem unfair that you always have to be on the lookout but you know you definitely want to be careful and avoid walking by yourself when you go out be with friends or even when you're parking somewhere try not to park in an area where it's very quiet or um, there's nobody around or very dark areas. Nine times out of 10, uh, a person won't mess with you if you're in a well-lit area and you're around a lot of people. Moving on to the next one. Number three says, act swiftly. If suspicious, go into the nearest building and wait for the person or car to leave. Alert someone in the building that you're being followed or call someone to pick you up if you can. This is uh, very important as well because a lot of times we leave the house and you know, usually you're supposed to let someone know if um, you know, where you're going or what time you're going to reach there. So that's very important. Make sure you give someone the time that you expect to be there, the person's uh, place you're going to, or even if you're just going to the mall check in let someone know you know i'll call you um in the next 10 minutes just to make sure you got there or call me to make sure i reached and if you don't hear from that person then they can take uh caution or keep calling you or you know just to see if you answer then they'll know whether something is wrong they'll know to contact the store maybe you're going to target or walmart you can contact walmart and kind of like put out uh, PSA or announcement or something. And also number four says don't trust easily. Some people who are trafficked are approached by strangers offering them a job or some kind of opportunity such as modeling or a singing career. So traffickers can approach you anywhere on social media, at school, in the mall, and even outside your house. So some traffickers might try to befriend you or form a relationship with you. So they're trying to build that uh, bond or build that trust. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows there are some people out there who lie to you, tell you they can make you a star overnight. Be aware of those things. Go through the right channels, especially if you're seeking um, a career in the entertainment industry, being an actress, an actor, singer, rapper, whatever it is. Make sure you are cautious, fact check things. Don't just go and believe someone because of some pictures that you see online. Things can easily be faked. They can be faked very uh, easily. So be very cautious and stop trusting people. These people are strangers. Even the people that, you know, are watching this video right now, you're a stranger. I don't know you. So I'm not going to immediately trust you. Number five, use social media wisely very important especially with children one me i personally feel like uh 
you know, even teenagers, there's a certain age that uh, someone should be allowed to use social media. But, of course, in the day and age that we live in, there are so many children, even from the age of seven and eight, who are utilizing social media sites. So it says, be suspicious of strangers who approach you after you've posted something personal on your social media profile. And they're suddenly offering you help, advice, money, a place to stay, or a job opportunity. If you're getting random messages from people on social media, check your privacy settings, turn off your location settings on social media, and only make your posts visible to your friends, not to the public. So you also want to avoid sharing your location. I see this a lot, especially while you're at the place. Um, and even when you're not at the place, there are people who share their uh, location. They'll say, I'm here at Benihana's, I'm here at Red Lobster, I'm here at P.F. Chang's, I'm here at uh, the jumping place with my children, enjoying and having a good time. So you're basically just letting everyone know who you're with, where you're going. You post pictures, they know your face, um, they know what your children look like when you drop them off to school. You let the whole entire world know what school your child goes to, etc. So these things you have to be very mindful of. And the reason why I say also uh, posting these things, even with, even if you leave and post it, you're still letting people know the places that you frequent um, daily, you know? So be very careful. Um, the next one says, number six, be ready for anything carry pepper spray with you on your keychain you also need to mentally prepare yourself to fight off the abductor if you begin to be attacked make a scene yell for help and fight back like your life depends on it and this is very important as well i know i keep repeating that this is very important but all of them are important but this one could really make a difference of whether or not you live or die so don't worry about what's going on around you. Don't worry about being embarrassed. If you have to bite, scream, just act a fool. I'm talking about act crazy. Like you have lost your mind just to fight someone off. Do what you have to do. The more attention you draw to that situation, when it's happening, the better it is. The more um, you have more of a chance of living and not being abducted so please don't be afraid to fight back scream kick cry drool whatever it is you have to do and number seven says use your phone allow three of your closest friends or family members to track your phone via gps so they know your whereabouts at all times so you could do this on most cell phones um, you could allow select few people to have your location um, especially with iphone for like an hour or a day or indefinitely this is very good it's i mean you just never know even if you were to get into an accident or you get trapped somewhere in your car it's still a great uh idea to use this type of service with the cell phone service it's not just there for no reason utilize the um services and things that are available to you especially when it's free so number eight says trust your instincts listen to the intuitive voice inside your head check with family and friends for advice if you get offers that are too good to be true do internet searches or background checks on the person wanting you to meet with them say no and see how they react look for signs of abusive or possessive behaviors so this is very good as well um usually you can spot someone who is on some bs now if you tell someone no especially when they continue to push offers on to you then you know something's not right if that person becomes upset especially a stranger like why would you become so upset with someone you don't know if they don't want to accept your offer there's something that's not right there trust your instinct and also let your family know your friends know don't be too embarrassed and if you have to be too embarrassed about it you know immediately there's something wrong with it already so don't even do it and number nine says 
Meet strangers in public places. Don't let anyone know where you live until you get to know them. So for a date, meet them at a public place for the first few times until you get to know them and feel comfortable. Also stay in contact with friends and family if you're out and about alone with someone you don't know very well. So this one, a lot of people fall for this especially when they meet people online, through Facebook, Instagram, uh, you know, through the DMs or Tinder, uh, what's the other one, Plenty of Fish. You see this all the time, um, people getting set up as well, even if it's just a few times, like three times, four times, five times. I suggest not letting someone know where you live until you really, really and truly know them because a person could pretend you never know who you're dealing with. A person can pretend. They can pretend for a month, two months, three months, a year. But like I said earlier, you have to trust your instinct and kind of like fill out that intuitive, you know? So keep that in mind. And last but not least, number 10 says seek help from reliable organizations. Traffickers also prey on young people who run away from home. If you're having trouble at home, instead of running away and putting yourself at risk of being kidnapped or lured into dangerous, life-threatening situations by traffickers, I mean, you could go ahead and seek help. Find ways where you could talk to a counselor or even going to your parents or maybe another family member in expressing yourself. They can get you the help that you need. It's, I mean, it's better than running away and then being lured into a uh, sex trafficking lifestyle where you possibly uh, you run the potential of being uh, killed and contracting diseases and all this other stuff. So utilize, as I said in the beginning of the video, utilize the different hotlines and I'm going to show those very soon. Um, before I do, let's look at this website here. So it is humantraffickinghotline.org. Um, just a few more tips and things that you can do to remain safe. So you guys could just read over these tips here um, on your own time. They're basically like a repeat and they kind of go with what I was talking about in each step, each tip. So again, you can visit that website, humantraffickinghotline.org. And these are just a few tips, guys. There's so many more. I mean, if you want to add some down below in the comments, something that you feel would be very helpful. Let's create a thread and let's keep it going. Share the positivity. Um, if you've experienced this before, feel free. Make your own video and kind of like give your experience. Let's raise awareness for sex trafficking. Let's allow people to live a life that they were meant to live instead of being lured into something against their own will. There are so many people who, um, you know, have had their life cut short and they haven't been able to experience the life that we're living. You know, sometimes we complain about the things that we face or, you know, even if something small comes up, I call it hiccups in life, you know, we automatically become ungrateful. We complain. But there's people right now who are suffering. They are suffering in silence. They're suffering in the sex trade. They're suffering with child abuse, domestic violence. And sometimes you have to look at your situation and you have to say, you know, things could be far worse than what they are right now. And even for myself, I had to do that a few times. Um, sometimes we complain about small little things that we wish could have went our way. But maybe it's delayed. Maybe God has it delayed for a reason. Maybe he feels like you're not ready for it. So we're sitting here complaining about things that we can actually change or things that we know will change for the better or for us in the future when there are people out there who don't even have that option. You know, they've been manip uh, manipulated. And even when they get out of that sex trade, there's a lot of counseling and you know, a lot of things that they have to go through. And some of them don't even, you know, recover fully, recover, recover from this. They're mentally, emotionally, uh, physically, and spiritually broken because of 
the experiences that they've had. So let's raise awareness. Um, like I said, drop some comments down below. Um, share your experience or share some tips with people. You never know if there's a teenager or a child who's just happens to come across this video and, you know, maybe they're suffering in silence as well. Or they just want to know some information that they can pass on to someone else. So again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at Say It Now, Say It Loud. Until the next video, you guys have a blessed one. Thank you.